Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create a creative decision tree diagram in PowerPoint from scratch. A decision tree diagram talks about the various options you have in various decision points and the various outcomes of your options. For example, here you can see that this is one decision point and you have two options in front of you. And when you choose option one, you have these three outcomes. Of course, you can take this diagram to the next level by talking about the percentage probability of each of these outcomes. Now, all that comes later. First, I'm going to show you how to create this simple decision tree diagram from scratch. And I'm going to give you a very useful shortcut that allows you to create these kind of connectors in a very simple way. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to create these rectangular boxes that hold our text. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle here. And I'm going to draw my first rectangle. And I'm going to write my sample text here. Of course, you can choose to alter the nature of this text box by going to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon and choosing a different quick style like this. It is completely up to you. The next thing I'm going to do is to add more text boxes here. I'm going to assume that you've already drawn your decision tree on a piece of paper because it is always useful to think about various options on a piece of paper without getting distracted by the various options here in PowerPoint. Once you've got your rough drawing ready on a piece of paper, then we create this diagram. I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu once again and I'm going to pick up the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw my next box which gives me option 1. And I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag this box to its new location and my smart guides are helping me to place this directly below the first box and I'm going to say this is option 2. Then I'm going to go to the Auto Shapes menu once again, pick up the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw the three outcomes here. So I'm going to say outcome one, the same way, hold the control button down and pull this to the new location and the new location here. And we are going to change this to outcome two and outcome three. And I'm going to select all of them again, hold the control button down and I'm going to pull them down here to their new position. Now we have two sets of outcomes for two different options. Beautiful. Now the last step is for us to connect these various boxes. And I'm going to show you a very smart way to connect these various boxes. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu and under Lines, I'm going to choose one of the connectors. This is the connector. It is called as Elbow Connector. I'm not going to left click on the option here. I'm going to right click on the tool and I'm going to say Lock Drawing Mode. Now that locks my cursor to this particular shape. Now I'm going to click on the connector point here and then I'm going to click on the second connector point here. And now I have a beautiful connector that connects this box with this. How do you know that these are connectors? The green color here of the circle indicates that these are connector points. Now let us do the same thing. I'm going to click on this connector point and I'm going to click on the next connector point and these two are connected. As you can see here, I don't have to go over and over again to select this connector elbow. I already have my lock drawing mode and that allows me to connect these various points very easily. So I'm, I just need to click on the two different connectors and I have the connector ready. And as you can see here, it's a very, very smart way, very quick way to create your beautiful decision tree diagram. Once you've done all this, you can go back and click on the tool and that will make your cursor back into the normal cursor and your diagram is ready. Of course, you can take this to the next level by giving these different colors. And of course, if you want to take this to even further level, you can always hyperlink each of these boxes to different slides to explain each of these outcomes in detail. So there is a lot you can do to make your decision tree diagrams in PowerPoint. Now I'm going to show you some creative alternatives from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 unique PowerPoint templates that create lasting impression on your audience. The creative alternatives are as follows. This is a tree diagram with two by two option. 
and here we have a 3 by 3 option and you can see that there are some very interesting variations of each of the nodes and if you want something very different like a vertical tree diagram you can use this ready-made template if you want a reverse tree diagram you can use this beautiful template if you want to have simple animated decision tree like this you can use it for example when you click you have the two options shown and then each of the options then is presented in succession using custom animation now the best point about this beautiful animated diagram is if you want to have more nodes more branches etc you can do so very easily for example i can click and drag across these uh, elements and i'm going to press ctrl c which is the shortcut for copy and i'm going to go to a new slide and i'm going to paste it now i have one branch with two options here and let me make a copy of this by holding the control button down and then i'm going to move this to the new location and the best part about this is if I leave the mouse button here and I go to the slideshow mode here I click and you have the animation available and I click I have the next animation available so that is how you use this beautiful animated decision tree and all this is available in all-in-one PowerPoint bundle and if you want to have a different kind of a look and feel like this hand-drawn uh, decision trees you have options like this which are all animated of course and you have the vertical ones like this and you have stylish ones like this and you have different varieties like this this and this and all these are part of our comprehensive all-in-one bundle and by the way comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is a collection of our best selling PowerPoint packs that is this bundle is a collection of our CEO pack 1 CEO pack 2 advanced animations pack the kind of animations that are not available with anyone else in the market visual powerpoint graphs pack data driven templates which are cutting edge which are all very easy for you to pick and replace we have flat design pack we have hand drawn graphics pack themed title templates and especially more than 400 new consulting models and frameworks which are not available anywhere else if you're someone who is really serious about creating presentations that influence your business and career, then this is the bundle you need to go for. One more thing, as a thank you for watching this video this far, I am happy to offer you our 5-day email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. You can click here to sign up for the email course free, which gives you 25 useful PowerPoint ideas you can implement readily in your next presentation. So please click here, join the email course and I'll see you inside. Thank you.